welcome to a talk IT tutorial. So this is going to be the C++ Mesh Model Viewer and we're going to be doing Lab 2. So Lab 1, I showed you the application, you've seen what it does. Uh, lab 2, basic setup and glute setup. Okay. So Lab 2, the basis of the application and getting the libraries for glute onto your computer. So I'll explain a little bit uh, what glute is in a second. Um, First, we're just going to do as it goes, says through the sort of tutorial here. We're going to build a simple application. We're going to use the wizard to create this for us. So opening up uh, Visual Studio 2015. So I'm just using the Community Edition at the moment. Um, again, this can be downloaded free online. Shouldn't have any issues. Okay, so now it's opened up, we're just going to go through what we need to do. So we need to go uh, open a new project. It's going to be a Windows 32 console application and we're going to call it something similar to the mesh model viewer. File new ooh, file new project. So C++, Windows 32, console application. I'm just going to put it in a folder that I just made a little bit earlier. And we can just call this mesh model viewer. Like so. And click OK. And then the wizard will create our application. Just next. Console application. Next, yeah, next. Hopefully, that should just create that for us in the background. Okay, so now we're going to open it up. We're going to have our mesh model viewer.cpp C file. This is going to be where we're going to have all of our main code um, and then what I'm saying to do is to include some of our header files um, these are going to be glute specific uh, you're going to need to download glute I'd imagine because I don't think everyone's going to have worked with it before or not at all to be honest so this is our mesh model viewer CPP so I'm just going to get rid of that and like so, just copy that in. Windows, GL, and then glute.h. So there are our header files. Um, what I've said is sort of when you put those in, it's likely to underline them red, it's not going to be able to find them. So, what is glute? It is a Windows system independent toolkit for OpenGL programs. Uh, to put it simply, it's used for graphics. Um, if you if you don't know, there's DirectX and then there's OpenGL, which is sort of graphics processing. Um, what this is going to allow us to do is just do really easy graphics, just at a basic level, come in at the start. So this is what we're going to be using. Um, I've said it's likely to throw errors. You're going to need to download them from here. So these are the downloads. I've put them on the site just in case they ever change, so you can always download them, but you can get them from here. Um, so three types, we've got a library, a header, and a, a dynamic link library. You're going to need to place these on your computer somewhere, um, depending on whether you're using 64 or 32-bit. Um, so I think this is more just a, a simple follow these instructions. Once you put those in, uh, you'll be able to go to here and you'll see if you just sort of uh, cut and then paste them back in. Uh, they'll go from that sort of red underlining saying we can't find these to what they look like now, uh, which is that they've been found. Um, just a quick example just to show you where they are. So for me, I've got uh, my A drive, program files x86, so 64 bit. Uh, Visual Studio 14, VC, and mine are in library and include. So if I go to here and I go to glute, oh, it's GL for, GL for this one. 
to go to top gl glue.h there uh, and then library there should be two in here glute.library and glute32.library so that that's just a simple that's where you need to put these files um, and that's all um, and then it will allow you to start using OpenGL for the graphics um, I mean it's not been a particularly exciting tutorial um, but it's sort of something that you need to have done before we move on to the actual programming side of things um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you continue on to the next level. Thank you.